All right, so here he is, the inimitable last style bender, Israel Adesanya, still undefeated as a mixed martial artist. DC, you tried to bring him in to emulate John Jones back in the day, and he's such a meticulous, thoughtful guy that he said no because Luke Rocco was in that gym and he thought he might have to fight him one day. He knew that at some point he would reach Luke Rocco in his division, so he said, you know what? I want to help you, DC, but I can't because of what's going to happen going forward in my career. He did not want to put Luke or himself in such an awkward situation. How about forward thinking? How about I'm forward you. thinking that that would have come to pass only a few short years later? But in Israel Asanya, you also have the mentality, but the fighting ability to become a UFC champion in only 12, 13 months. Well, he has joined a long list of Hall of Fame types. Chuck Liddell, John Jones, Daniel Cormier. Now this man is the hunted at 205 pounds. He is the UFC light heavyweight champion. He has defended the belt. He has proven without a shadow of a doubt that he's the best 205er in the world. A lot of momentum with the challenger here tonight, though. A lot of people think we're getting a new champion. The champion is not among those. We'll see if this man can walk out the same way he walked in as the undisputed light heavyweight champion of the world. Our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight title fight. Both fighters are 31. Adesanya will have a one-inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist for the professional record of 24 wins, two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 200 pounds. Introducing the challenger, Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 12 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Jamal Sweet Green. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Engages in the single collar tie. On 
there's a takedown attempt there, DC. I'm no analyst, but that one was pretty telegraphed, not his best effort. Yes, he may as well have sent a text message to his opponent saying, I'm going to shoot the moment the fight starts. Of course, he got defended. Set up your attacks, young man. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Just over three minutes to go round one. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. And they second. Ooh. Oh! Whiffs on the right hand. Oh, big punch land. And he switches to Southpaw. Soften him up. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. Oh, that right hand is on point. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Just a slip there. Got the single collar tie. Muay Thai club. And he connects there with a the punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Oh, shit. So a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off of his back. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen the thrill of the fight. He tasted that knockout life. He tasted that knockout life. He's done. He's done. Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. And there is the UFC light heavyweight champion. This has long been the UFC's glamour division. And man, did he get it done with style points here tonight. 
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Beans called the stop to this contest at two minutes of round number two. Declared the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Israel. things as exciting in this sport as the crowning of the new UFC champion. Congrats to the new light heavyweight king. And at 205 pounds, he joins a pantheon of UFC all times. I mean, he joins a laundry list of great fighters. Randy Couture, Tito Ortiz, John Jones, Daniel Cormier. Yes. I mean, so many great fighters have held this title. And this man's name now stands amongst the legends.